My name is Pastor Gareth Lavelle and I'm coming to you live from Cloud Christian Ministries and this morning I'm going to bring you the Word of God. It's a wonderful Word of God that will build you up. It will make you think. It will challenge you. But it, most of all it will bring glory to God. So before we start I'd like to invite you to bow your head and we'll start in prayer. Thank you. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just praise you, Father God. We glorify you, Father God. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Father God, you are the almighty God. You are the one and only true living God. We love you. We praise you. We exalt you. We love you. We praise you. We exalt you. Oh, Heavenly Father, glory, 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 hallelujah. You are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, Father, and there is no God above you, below you, or to the sides of you. There is no God that is supreme to you, Father God. Hallowed be your holy name. You are the great Emmanuel, God with us. You are our comforter. You are mighty. You are strong, Father God. And we just praise you and we exalt you. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise your holy name. And everyone who is a Christian, I would like you to say amen and amen to that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Today I'm going to bring the word from Isaiah 41.10. That's Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That is a fantastic promise. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful promise. Now, you know, all the things that are going on from March of 2020 right through to the present day, July the 17th, 2020, and still going on and may still go on in the future. God says, fear not, for I'm with you. Be not dismayed. Be not dismayed. For I am your God. So what is he saying there? He's in control. He's your God. He said he will strengthen you. He will give you strength. And he will uphold you in his righteous right hand. He will uphold you. He will lift you up when you're feeling down. He will lift you up with his righteous right hand. He is your strength. He is your courage. He is your encourager. He is your God. So do not be afraid. Now there are many churches still not open. Many churches may never open again. And those churches that are not open, in my personal opinion, I believe God is doing a sifting, a sifting of the churches. And many, many big, massive, mega churches, 45,000 people or more, but they're more like social clubs. And so God will do the sifting, the sifting, like sifting flour through a sieve very fine particles and those churches that do not have God's word God's true words will not survive they will close down and praise God for it but the true gospel the true word of Jesus Christ will carry on it will go forward it will go forward because God is in control and those a true word speaking churches will continue will survive will flourish where the big churches where they don't have the word where they're more like a social club they will dissolve they will dissolve like flour in water they will just evaporate their money will run out their premises will close because they're not bringing glory to god they are not bringing glory to god they are prosperity gospel they are taking people's money they're filling up their bags full of cash for the private jets to fly around the world to holiday five star. And that is not bringing uh, God glory. He wants churches that will be strong in his word, that will deliver his word. And the only way that some of those churches will survive is if they start to preach the word of God. If they fully repent of using God as a cash cow fully repent and start preaching God's holy word accurately, rightly dividing the word of God. God will, God will sort out the wheat from the chaff. You know, the only place we get our answers is from the word of God. 
The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. God is doing a sifting, sifting the wheat from the shaft. The true churches, the true Christians are the wheat. And the shaft are the prosperity churches, these big churches, these big social clubs where they're cashing in on the gospel. They will be the shaft. They are the shaft unless they repent right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And they start to preach God's word accurately. They will be like the shaft. And the shaft will burn up. What happens when you collect wheat and you've got chaff? You've got straw. Now you'll feed some to your animals, but the remainder will burn up. They will put it, the farmers will put it in the fire. They will burn up the shaft. And then and many of them will set the field on fire to burn off the shorter shaft on the field. So that they get uh, the field will be sterilized from all that, from all bacteria and everything. So that's what they do. They set the field on fire to burn the shaft. And so the shaft will be burnt up. The churches that do not preach God's word will be burnt up. They will be gone. They will be dissolved like flowering water. Unless they repent. Unless they preach the true word of God. But for the Christian, God says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not, be not dismayed, because I am your God and I will hold you up with my righteous right hand. What a great promise that is. So for the Christian, for the true preachers, the true shepherds of God, who are preaching, teaching the true doctrine, the true word of Jesus Christ, God says, fear not. Fear not, because I am with you. I am your God, and I will hold you up. Be not dismayed. I will hold you up with my righteous right hand. But these other churches that are not preaching the word of God, the true word of God, they're dissolving like flour in water. And I don't mean like flour in water when you put a lot of flour in and it goes like glue and it just sits there clog clogging up the water. I mean a sprinkling of flour that just dissolves. In the wind, in the water. Matthew 24 verse 35 says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. His word lasts for all eternity. His word never comes back void. God's word is the only way. So these churches better sit up and listen and repent in the name of Jesus and start to uh, preach God's true holy word, rightly dividing the word of God, which cuts through to the bones and the marrow, the organs and the joints, the bones and the marrow, rightly dividing the word of God. The word of God is like a double-edged sword and it does cut through. It will cut th through right through to the bone and the marrow. His word, his holy word, is sharper than a double-edged sword, the best double-edged sword. And he says here again, he says, my word, my word, heaven and earth will pass away. Because it says that in Revelation, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will by no means pass away. His word is eternal. His word is what brought creation into existence. He spoke in Genesis and he said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that it was good. And he divided the night from the day by that light. He spoke it out. God's word is breathed out. He breathed out that word. He spoke out that word and he brought it into existence. And his word, heaven and earth, will pass away. But my word will by no means pass away. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God's word is so good. God's word is the solid rock. The solid rock. Oh, that's Psalms chapter 33 verse 4. For the word of the Lord is right. And all his work is done in truth. And all his work is done in truth. For the word of the Lord is right. It's right. It's correct. It's righteous. It's holy. And all his work will be done in truth. God cannot lie.
Bible tells you that God cannot lie. Let's look at Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7 verse 24. Therefore whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to be a wise man who builds his house on the rock. Now these prosperity churches, they have big churches, they have lots of money, they have huge congregations, but they do not preach the word which is the solid rock. They, pe they preach, they preach strange doctrines, philosophies of men. They are men pleasers, man pleasers. They like to tickle the ears of the public and then the public will give them lots of money because they have these very deep pockets and they need to afford for all these lavish buildings and these private jets and everything. They are completely wrong and they are in sin. But this says, this says, and I'll read it again, therefore, therefore, which is a very important word, therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine, and this is Jesus Christ speaking, and does them, and does them, that is the thing, not just hearing them, but doing the word of God. Them I will liken to a wise man who builds his house on the rock, on the word, on the solid word, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the rock, he is our strength in times of trouble. The storms come. And when you build on quicksand, when you build on sand or quicksand, your house will fall. When you build your house on sand, when the storm comes, the rain comes, the winds whip against that building, that house will sink because it has no proper foundation. You've seen in countries where hurricanes are, and I feel very saddened for these people, but some people build their homes right on the edge of the sands overlooking the sea the location is spectacular but because they've not built it on a solid foundation the entire embankment the entire area where the house was built because it was built on sand falls into the sea and is no more so for the prosperity preacher, for the false church, for those who are tickling the ears of the people and using the, uh, the gospel as a cash cow, I say to you, repent in the name of Jesus Christ and start to preach the true word of God. That is the only way, the only way that your churches will survive. Because God is doing a, a sifting of the wheat and the chaff. And the chaff will be burnt. It will be no more. Build your church. Build your house. Build your life on the solid rock. Which is the word of Jesus Christ. There is nothing better. And when... You are in the Lord and you are in the correct word of the Lord. You are in the word. I can go back to Isaiah again. Isaiah 41. Oh Lord, this is such a powerful word. Isaiah 41. Fear not. What does it say? Fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed. Don't be troubled. Don't be dismayed. For I am your God. That's right, he's my God and he's your God. He is my God and he's your God. Be not despaired. Be not dismayed. Be not fearful because he is your God. He is in control. He is in control. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. He is in control. He is in control. And he says, I will strengthen you. Ambulances, can you hear the sirens? People are in dismay. Things are happening. People are getting sick. People are dying. But trouble might be all around. But be not dismayed. Do not fear. 
Do not fear, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, because I am your God. Not Gareth, God Almighty is your God. Fear not, be not dismayed, for I, Jesus Christ, am your God. And I will strengthen you. He will make you strong, so you can stand like a tower, a mighty tower, built on the solid rock. I will help you, yes I will help you, with my righteous right hand I will uphold you. He will hold you up like a tower, a strong tower, with his righteous right hand. God has got your life in his hand, right in his hand, in his righteous right hand. And he will protect you from the storm, he will protect you from COVID-19, he will protect you from disaster even if you lose your job he will protect you he will provide for you he will care for you and your family praise God hallelujah oh hallelujah father God we just praise you we exalt you father God there is no God bigger or better than you father you are the one and only the one and only true living God oh hallelujah praise you father God father God I just pray right now for everybody listening to Cloud Christian uh, Ministries, everybody watching this video, everybody listening on our podcast, everybody reading about this in our blog or on our website, Father God, I just pray for them all right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that they realize, Father God, that your word is their strength, Father God, that Jesus is the word, the living word, and he is their strength and he will uphold them with his righteous right hand. Oh, hallelujah. They do not have nothing to fear when they're walking with God, when they're in the God's word and God's word will protect them. It will give them wisdom to maneuver in a new way, Father God. Oh, hallelujah, Father God. But those who do not repent, these big churches, they will be sifted out and dissolved like flour in water. In rapids, in the water of the rapids of the river, they will dissolve. There will be no more blown away in the wind like dust specks. Burnt up in the shaft. Oh, Father God, unless they repent, Father God, and teach your true and holy word. There is nothing greater than your true and holy word. Oh, Heavenly Father, we love you. We praise you. I love you. I praise you. You are holy, 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 and worthy to be praised. Oh, hallelujah. I pray for all these people right now, Father God. Right now, Father God, if any of them suffering with sickness, Father God, I speak and declare healing in the name of Jesus Christ, right on them, right now, in Jesus' mighty name. I curse all sickness and all death in the name of Jesus Christ. It has no legal right to be in your bodies. I curse it to die in Jesus' mighty name. And I speak and declare God's divine health and healing in your bodies right now. Just receive that healing right now. Receive that healing right now. Receive that healing in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, more healing, more healing, more healing. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Heavenly Father, we praise you. Oh, Holy Spirit, we we love you. You're a wonderful person, a wonderful helper. You're a wisdom itself. You're our teacher. You're our guide. You're our everything. Oh, Heavenly Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, what he did on that cross, he did it for us, Father God. And we praise you and thank you for what he did on that cross on Calvary. He died for us and before he died, he became our sin, Father God. And we just praise you and thank you for his life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And if you're not a Christian, I just uh, want to invite you right now to give your life to Jesus Christ. And if that is you, then I ask you to close your eyes, bow your heads and repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, I love you and I invite you into my life. I'm sorry that I have sinned and I repent of all my sins. You became sin for me on that cross. You suffered and you died for me. And you rose up from death, beating the sting of death. Death, oh where is your sting? 
Hades, oh where is your victory? Father God in heaven, come and be the Lord of my life. Come and be my Lord and Saviour. I'm sorry for what I, I've done. I'm sorry for all of my sins. I repent in the name of Jesus. And I invite you to be the Lord of my life. Come into my life right now. I surrender all to you in Jesus' mighty name. If you've just prayed that prayer, I'd love you to contact us on info at cloudchristianministries.co.uk That's info at cloudchristianministries.co.uk Let us know that you've just committed your life to Christ and we want to just welcome you into the family of God. So if that was you and you've just done that, the prayer itself won't save you, but it's your true repentance and your trust and belief in the one and only true living God, Jesus Christ. You have to surrender all to him. If you've done that, then welcome, welcome into the family of God. You're now standing on a solid rock. Get into his word. Study God's holy word. Study God's holy word. Build yourself up with the word. Let the word build you up, equip you, empower you. Your life will never be the same again. And I just want to say God bless you and welcome into the house of God, into the family of God. And I want you to pray more. And when the church is fully open, the true churches, I want you to go to a church. I want you to listen to the word from the preacher. And I want you to allow that word to teach you all that God has got to teach you, to build you up, to equip you, to empower you for your life, your new life in Christ Jesus. If you've enjoyed what you've just seen, I thank you. And I thank you for taking the time to listen to me, to watch me on YouTube, to listen to our podcast, or to read all about this in our blogs. And I just ask that you subscribe to our channel, somewhere down the bottom here, subscribe, like, do comment and we'll, we'll get back to you. If any comments, we'll get back to you. Do comment and do share with your family and friends. Our YouTube channel and our websites. All the links, all our social media links are down below. Please do subscribe and help this video to go viral. Help this video to go to the nations. Because it's not about me. It's about glory coming to God. My name is Pastor Gareth Lavelle. And I just want to say thank you and God bless you all until next time. Thank you.